voice, for some it takes a lifetime. The search to find the voice inside that doesn't sound like the same old rhyme or cadence mind, but something different, something real, <clears throat> something people don't just hear, they feel. It's a constant test, this self-realizing quest that has me digging deeply with my pen into my chest, trying to connect the meaning of my heart with the intention of my breath. So when I speak, it's not just spoken word. It's living word. So that everything I spit becomes a verb and gives action to everything that follows. Not just serving hollow sounds or shallow grins, but making music, like on the road where the sidewalk ends, in the letters to a young poet, or the genius that lies in the minds of dirty old men. From the drunken ramblings of one too many lifetimes, or that feeling you get when you listen to what I got by Sublime. It's an understanding that my soul isn't in balance unless my soul is in sync with my pen. Let the loving, let the loving come back to me again and again and again until my vocal cords have no choice but to vibrate my truth at its highest frequency. Popping your ears with the years of heartache and struggle that brought out the best in me. In the quest to find your voice. In the quest to find your voice, silence, deafness, and apathy are not a choice. Sharpen your words. Speak more than when spoken to when your people, or your people rejoice. You see, finding your voice is the vacuum made whole. It's one's quest to fill the empty space, the true battle for the soul. Find your voice is the last straw. It is the last punch. It is the last humiliation. Find your voice is the first sign and the first retaliation. You see, having your voice will be wisdom despite the media haze. To voice out of Pueblo's economic cage and Chavez's labor gains, they don't have to pit the NAFTA slave against the union wage. Find your voice will be clarity despite the rules of the game. That violence is justified if the victim's to blame. The victims. You see, the voice he passed those signs that say God hates fags. They see Giuliani and drag and that Ted Hag is a hag. The voice look to those who have suffered and find regret in our guilt. They understand that as long as the people aren't there, the Gulf Coast, New Orleans, and Baghdad will never truly be rebuilt. Voice is action. Voice is understanding. Our voice is science and it is righteous. Transactional and transgenerational. Chronemic and proxemic. Sankofa's a con, unbound by time as we weep, fetal side by side with our ancestors. Sankofa's a con, unbound by time as we stand strong, side by side with our ancestors, on their reservations, in their middle passages, in their internments or as marital hostages. Voices the past passed on in genetic memory, through struggle, through love, through pain, and through victory. I am my mother's voice. She is black. She was poor. She is she and she is more. She is her mother's voice and I am hers. Sacrifices for her children and dreamed of her. Mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters giving voice to your rights to fight for their freedom. So the first one to speak will be the first one to freedom. Bless y'all.